Good morning. So today I'm going to see the bears. I've never seen bears in real life, so I'm really excited to see how big they are. I'm really excited. Let's go. Wow. arrived at the bear park and literally you just park up there there's just two here so these are old dancing bears that have been rescued from uh, that cruel practice even though it's all fenced it's for their own protection that no one can get at them but it's quite a huge reserve this is on top of a mountain um, so you go from Razlog and you go through Belitza and when you arrive in Belitza there's loads of signs taking you all the way to here so it's easy to find Two bears over there fighting. One of them is called Monty. and at the moment we are at Dancing Bears Park Belitza. In our sanctuary we have 26 bears. When the bears was about 3 months, when there was cubs, all night is training them in a very cruel way. On the ground all night put ash, fire or something hot. It was too hot for the cubs, but all night is keep the bear on fire. At the same time he is played on the violin, an idea for the play on the violin was when the bear heard the music, to make association with the hot steel and to start to jump. In this cruel way, they are training to be dancing bears. But most sensitive part of the body of the bears, it is nose. Before arriving in the sanctuary, owner with a nail, it's make a hole on the nose. And when they have a hole, after this they put here the ring on the nose. And when they pull the bears, bears stay on two poles, or when they rolling the chain, they can control very easily the bears. They do it because it is too painful for them, it is too cruel, and they start to jump or start to, to rolling on the ground. Still now, the sanctuary is financed 50% from four poles and 50% from Bridget Bordeaux. Conditions here are very good for the bears. You can see they have a swimming pool, they have a meadow, they have a big space for walking, for climbing. I think the name of the park is a bit misleading because uh, it shouldn't be named Dancing Bear Park even though it's full of dancing bears or old retired dancing bears um, it gives you a bad impression that they actually still dance So back in Razlog, um, the main town, to go and have some food. We're trying this place tonight, which is like a pizza bar place. So just had my second meal in Bulgaria, and it was all right, but I tried something new, and uh, yeah, it didn't really turn out the way I thought it was. <laughs> but it was still nice, it was still nice. When the meals are ready, they get them out as fast as they can. So like in England, you would wait and you'll get all of the meals out at the same time so no one's waiting in your party uh, but here there's they bring one meal out because it's done the chef's done it 
and then everyone else is just sitting there waiting awkwardly. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if they've got one of those heaters to keep it warm. Maybe that's why. But uh, yeah, it's just something I've noticed here. <gasps> Hello. How are you? Hello. This little stray dog has is probably like part of the complex that I'm staying at. <laughs> Just keeps going around getting loads of fuss off everyone. It's so nice and placid. <laughs> so day two has come to an end and it's been fantastic seeing the bears this morning. Had a relaxing evening and a nice swim and nice grub. So tomorrow, as far as tomorrow is concerned, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm not the sort to plan but I've got, what I do is I've got a list of everything I want to do and then uh, I just randomly pick one on the day and just go and do it. So we'll see you tomorrow. Tune in next time to join the expedition. Thanks guys. I've had this conversation so many times since I've been in the UK. So where are you from? I'm from China. Yeah, but what part? Well, if you're from China, it's like a chicken. I'm from the chicken. Rasti. Rasti means hello. Rasti. Rasti.